Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today we are bringing you a very special video for iPhone users, and that is how to have unlimited backup for all of your photos and videos. Now, this is using a different uh, cloud-based storage other than iCloud. It's using Google Photos. So you're gonna have to download this app from the App Store, just search for Google Photos, and that is all you need to do. And then once you enter that in, it is this icon right here. And this gives you unlimited backup for all of your photos and all of your videos. So you don't have to worry about having only five gigs of storage for all of your photos and videos. You can also have it automatically wipe the photos and videos from your phone when you plug in and charge, just like you uh, normally would. So you open up Google Photos, and you're gonna have to give, of course, give it permissions when you first start off, just for to be able to see your photos and back everything up, of course. Then you're gonna have to sign in to your Google account. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you would want to, of course, create one. Uh, I myself do have one, so I'm just gonna type that in, so. And you never have to actually type in at Gmail. Uh, all you have to do is type in that part and then that is it. And then you're gonna type in your password, which I will now do. And then it is going to get started. So as this gets started, it's gonna ask me like, hey, do you wanna back it up? Of course I do. However, I do not wanna back it up over cellular data. Even if you have a great or limited wire, wire, wireless plan, you do not want to do this just simply for the fact that if you're ever at a bad point at some point when it's backing it up, it could actually corrupt the photo and the photo won't get backed up properly. So I would never do that, but it's up to you, of course. And here you go. So here's the thing. You can back it up under the original. However, you can do high quality. The reason why high quality is so important is because this is what high quality means. It backs up to a 16 megapixel camera which the iPhone is underneath 16 megapixels, which means your megapixel quality will be intact at the full uh, 12 megapixel that it currently is at. You do not downgrade the quality at all. Second fact is that you're actually also going to save it at a full 1080p in high quality, which means that if you do record 4K video, it will be downgraded to 1080p. So that is the only caveat that you wanna know about that it will be downgraded to a 1080p video instead of a 4K video. So that's the only caveat. If you don't want to do that, you you know you don't care to back up video quality, you can unback up that folder that uh, your videos shoot in and change it that way. So it's up to you, but this is again, unlimited backup for all of your photos and all of your videos. It will save up to 16 megapixels and up to 1080p. And this goes of course for every phone you have. So if you have a tablet, iPad, any other devices out there, even Androids, all of them will back up just the same. So we're gonna continue. And then this just kind of shows you how to navigate and how you can select multiple. And a lot of things that actually are coming to Apple's gallery or photos is actually from this. So a lot of the search things and a lot of this kind of stuff has been here for a while. So you will actually have very similar things to what you have now already available here. Okay, so you can see it's backing, gonna back up all the photos that we have here and we've taken. You can also have albums of places, things, and shared. You can also even search for certain people or anything along those lines as well. So you can search by faces. Mine has never backed up before. This is a new account that I've never set it up before. But in my personal account, I have all of my uh, faces already set so I can search for my wife, all the pictures I have ever taken of her, or my mom, or my brother, anyone like that, very simple and easy. You can also do a search for something like a wedding, and it'll show you every wedding photo you've ever had. A lot of these features, again, that are coming now to your basic album folder have been on here for a long time. You can also automatically share things with other people that have a Google account as well, just like iCloud account. If they have your Gmail and you have their Gmail, you will actually automatically share photos with them 
when you took it. So you don't have to remember to send it to them. You can actually, hey, if I took a photo of this person, you can set it up to automatically share it with them. Now all this is optional, of course, but the main thing is that you have unlimited backup with all of your photos and videos here. And underneath the settings portion on here, you can manage all of this stuff. So you can free up space on your phone. So you can limit a certain size and once it is, it will actually delete the photos and videos on your phone. You can also uh, group similar faces. So you can group uh, similar faces as I was saying earlier for that purpose. You can use Google Maps to open up uh, and geotag locations or you can remove them if you're sharing them. Say if you want to automatically share items but you don't want people to know where you were, you can actually take that off as well. So this is a really great way of backing up all your photos, simple and easy, and you never have to worry about running out of storage space because the backup is unlimited. All right, guys, hopefully you did find this video helpful. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.